assalamu alaikum hi guys welcome to 3d learning segment in this segment we will learn about the 3d applications and how we can do modeling animations in 3d application and how we can apply texture in 3d application in this video we are using cinema 4d for 3d learning those who's working in adobe after effect they knows better cinema 4d because cinema 4d light is already one one of the plugin in after effect which you can you can use for 3d modeling and animation it is limited version of cinema 4d so you can you can easily import cinema 4d file in uh, adobe after effect and you can you can do compositing inside after effect without after effect cinema 4d is very good standalone 3d application in which you can do very easily modeling animation and texturing very efficiently in this first lecture we will discuss about the user interface of cinema 4d basic tools of cinema 4d how we can use keyboard and mouse in cinema 4d uh, and how we can insert the object in cinema 4d and how we can do some basic editing in cinema 4d when you open cinema 4d first time you can see this type of view this is a perspective view in this view there you can see these three lines uh, green blue and red this green line is y-axis the red line is x-axis and blue line is z-axis if you see left down corner here these all three axes are shown so you can easily understand which line represent which axis if you see the viewport you can see in the center there is a bright rectangle and on the right and left there is the dark strips the center rectangle which you can see the center rectangle represent your render area or screen settings it's been whatever the project parts which is inside this rectangle only it will render or it will export and remaining one will not export if you want to change this uh, render setting or screen resolution of your viewport then you have to go here upside upside there is a control bar you can see there is another control bar on left side in upside control bar there is one button it called edit render setting click on it you will see one window will open there is a lot of other options we will focus on output option in out output option there is a preset arrow if you click on this arrow you will uh, find a big list of related to different media there is a lot of uh, presets and uh, if you choose screen in screen option you choose preset 160 multiply, multiply by 120 then you will see this uh, screen size will be reduced mostly i am working for video editing so that's why i will use mo mostly i'm using film video uh, preset hd tv 1080 29.97 preset there is a lot of other options here we will discuss about these later now we'll see how we can use a keyboard and mouse in cinema 4d for better understanding it is good to insert object in viewport for this purpose we have to uh, choose first selection tool in top toolbar if you see in top to top toolbar there is one uh, button here it is a selection tool here is also with this button you can see small black arrow it's mean it has further options if you click your left mouse button and hold you will see you will find another list of selection tools uh, we will see them later how to use this list for timing i am choosing live selection tool after this you will see another button here with cube image it also has small black arrow it means it has some further uh, list of objects if you click your left mouse button and hold you will find further basic shapes inside this i uh, you can see a lot of basic shapes here i am going to select cube object after selecting cube object it will insert in viewport and if you see right top side this is object manager window this cube will also insert in this window in doubt downside uh, downside beneath of this uh, object manager you'll find this attribute uh, manager it uh, it will show segments and size of uh, objects and a lot of other attributes and par parameters related to this object now if you want to pan the view of this object or camera view of this object right left uh, or up and down so for this purpose we can use two method in first method if you see in your viewport right top side there is some buttons here four buttons the first button if you click left mouse button on this first button and drag your mouse right left up and down then your view will be pan this is the first method the same thing you can do with your keyboard and mouse press alt key on your keyboard then uh, press scroll button middle scroll button on your mouse and drag your mouse right left up and down it will be pan now we'll see how we can zoom in zoom out the view camera view of object so if you see the second button here in tops uh, right top corner if you click left mouse button 
and drag mouse button right and left up and down you will see your view will be zoom in and zoom out same thing you can do with the keyboard and mouse if you hold you press alt key in on your keyboard press right mouse button and hold and drag your mouse button right left you will see your view will be zoom in and zoom out remember your ref reference point will be that point where you will place your pointer for example i am placing pointer here in here about center of the object pressing alt key and uh, by clicking right mouse button and holding i am dragging mouse right and left you can see it is going to zoom in zoom out same thing you can do with the scroll wheel third method is that use your mouse uh, scroll wheel and with this scroll wheel you can zoom in and zoom out your object these are the three methods to zoom in and zoom out now if you want to rotate your camera view or your scene view so for this purpose top right uh, corner if you see there's a third button this is rotate button uh, click your left mouse button and hold and drag your mouse you will see your view will be rotate right left up and down same thing you can do with your keyboard and mouse press alt key on your keyboard and then click your left mouse button and hold the mouse button and drag your mouse right left up and down you will see your view will be rotate so these are the basic use of keyboard and mouse in cinema 4d there's fourth button in a viewport right top corner, corner of viewport this is window button if you click on this uh, window button you will see the four viewport will open the one is perspective view which is highlighted with this perspective view you can see this top view downside there is a front view and there is a left view this view you can change uh, by using camera menu this front view i'm going to change to back view and you can it's the same way i'm going to change left view to the right view so this view you can change easily now if you want to select uh, any window to highlight that window and after highlighting that window again you press this window button this view port will be open so the another method method is that come to any uh, area of the viewport bring your mouse there and press your middle mouse button scroll button you will see this four viewport window will be open and whatever which one you want to open again bring your mouse button there and click your middle mouse button this view viewport will be open so these are the basic uh, use of keyboard and mouse in cinema 4d okay let's uh, see how we can use uh, basic tools in cinema 4d beside this live selection tool there is one button which is name is move tool yeah, click this button with left mouse button shortcut key is e if you want to move uh, object along any axis first highlight that axis bring your mouse on that axis it will highlight and then click left mouse button and drag your mouse you will see object will move along this axis same thing you can perform with the help of live selection tool select live selection tool highlight the axis and click the left mouse button and drag your mouse it will move along that axis like y axis and uh, i'm going to move with uh, z axis if you want to move object in other directions then you can see these uh, triangles red blue and green triangles if you highlight that triangles and click click your left mouse button and drag then you can move in other directions where you wherever you want now if i want to increase or decrease the size of the object so for this purpose i have to select the scale tool which is beside move tool after selecting this tool you will see the axis shape will change at the end of each axis you will find the cube shape so for increasing or decreasing the size just highlight that axis and press the left mouse button and drag your mouse you will see the object size will be increase and decrease you can increase and decrease like this right left up and down one thing you can notice here when you are increasing or decreasing uh, object size in any axis in along any axis you can observe that it is increasing and decreasing in every axis proportionally sometimes you don't want this proportional change in size you want different size in different direction for this purpose actually you have to use another method you can see in object manager there is a cube if you select this cube in attribute manager some attributes appears in which you can see some scale 
and segments in scale boxes x y and z any boxes in front of each boxes there is uh, some arrow keys bring your mouse there and click your left mouse button and drag your mouse up and down you can increase or decrease size of your object along that axis where you want there is also third method of scaling if you see each axis has small yellow dot carefully if you can see highlight this yellow dot and click your left mouse button and drag your mouse then you can increase and decrease the size along that axis so these are the three methods of scaling in Cinema 4D. Now we'll see how we can rotate the object. Beside this uh, scale tool, there is another button. This is a rotate tool. If you select this with the left mouse button, you can see the axis change to circles. Red circle, green circle, and blue circle. If you want to rotate object, highlight that circle along which you want to rotate your object. Press your left mouse button and drag your mouse. You can see the object will rotate along that axis you can see that when you are uh, dragging your mouse after highlighting circle the degree is increasing and decreasing with continuous value in points but sometimes you want that uh, you want to rotate in fixed degree for this purpose highlight your uh, any uh, any circle where you want to rotate your object if i click the left mouse button and after that press the shift key on your keyboard and then drag your mouse you will see object will rotate with 10 degree difference so you can see it is more rotating with a difference of 10 degrees i'm again repeating this if you can see highlight the circle press your left mouse button and then press shift key on keyboard and then drag your object then you can see it will the degree will be rotate in 10 10 degree difference you can see so like this you can rotate object in fixed degrees so these are the basic tools of uh, cinema 4ds another thing uh, we have to see in attribute manager we utilize this attribute manager to increase and decrease the scale of the object but this is another thing segments uh, of segments of the object if we increase or decrease the segments of the object you can see that uh, there is no change in object segments in viewport you cannot see segments in an object it can be fixed by the display menu of viewport click on the display menu you can see now the it is guard shading if you change it to guard shading lines the lines and segments will be appear on the objects now if you increase and decrease the segments you can see in viewport now i'm going to change it to 10 10 So the, by this way you can use your, your display menu. So we created some segments in object but if I want to select some segments or edges, edges of the object I cannot select. Uh, one thing remember in Cinema 4D any shape which has 4 points and 4 edges we call, call it uh, polygon and more than 4 point and 4, uh, four edges shape we will call n-gon. So you can see I cannot select any uh, edges or any segment or any polygon even I, if I select selection tool and I want to select some edges or polygon or segment I cannot select. So it, uh, for this purpose uh, you know in Cinema 4D if you want to edit or uh, edit object you have to make it editable. You can see on uh, right control bar top side there is one button it is uh, make editable button shortcut, uh, shortcut key is C click on that button you can see this black uh, edges color will change to blue now you can select easily uh, any point like i select point tool and uh, after that I, I can select this these points edges and if i select polygon tool i can select the polygon if you want to select more than one polygon then uh, hold the left mouse button and drag then you can select uh, more than one polygon this is just you can increase your section area and if you want to deselect the polygon then press the control key on keyboard with the left mouse button you can drag and deselect the polygons same thing you can do with the edges and points you can select more than one edges and points now here you can see the benefit of the selection tools uh, come to the selection tool hold your left mouse button you can see the list of the selection tools i will prefer first select this uh, rectangle selection tool 
and then you can uh, draw the rectangle around your object it will select all the points same way you can select the lesser tool it is used to select the random points in your objects or uh, edges or polygons now i select this lesser tool and i'm selecting random points in objects so easily you can select random points in your objects same edges and polygon and last tool is a polygon tool simple you can draw the more shape any shape and it will select uh, all points under uh, inside this shape so these are the basic selection tools okay guys hope you understand the basics of cinema 4d if you like it please share it see you in next uh, lecture till that allah hafiz ma salama bye bye